Hi, this is Dean Cardinal from Worldwide Trekking, and today I want to talk about your sleeping bag and sleeping pad for Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, so part of your personal items on Mount Kilimanjaro that you're going to need is a sleeping pad and a sleeping bag. We provide the tents and all the cookware and all the facilities up there on the mountain, but the sleeping bag and sleeping pad are really important for you. You'll have your tent and we put in a foam pad on the bottom of your tent. And then on the top of the foam pad, you're gonna want just a, a basic inflatable sleeping pad. So I recommend like a Thermarest style blow up sleeping pad. If you go online, you go to backcountry.com and you put in sleeping pad, there's a variety of them that are gonna come up. It doesn't need to be extremely thick to give you a nice, comfortable insulating layer between you and the ground. So this sleeping bag is 66 inches long, 20 inches wide, and an inch and a half thick. So it's plenty of comfortable protection for between you and the ground. It's gonna help you rest better, stay warmer, and be a really critical thing when you're sleeping at night. The next thing is uh, a good sleeping bag. So you're gonna want a sleeping bag that's, that's good to 15 degrees, they're, we use four season tents, so they're quite warm on Mount Kilimanjaro when everything's all tight inside, especially with you and a second person in the tent. But you want a good mummy bag. So there's two types of sleeping bags, synthetic or down. So basically the difference is a synthetic sleeping bag is not usually gonna pack up as small as a down bag. It's also going to be a little bit thicker and, and maybe not as soft. So um, that's one of the main things with a synthetic bag. The other thing with a synthetic bag is if it was to get wet, it would still keep you warm. The thing about a down bag is it's probably gonna pack up smaller, maybe be a little lighter, but if it does get wet, it wouldn't keep you warm. There shouldn't be a problem with your bags getting wet on Mount Kilimanjaro, even if it's raining out, you have a a poly duffel bag, we'll put that inside of a, another bag to protect it from the mud and the rain and that kind of thing. Our tents are very waterproof and good quality, but you're gonna want a bag that's 15 degrees. If you sleep cold, you might got, want a bag that's rated for a little bit cooler temperatures, but that should be plenty comfortable for you on, on Kilimanjaro. If you're tall, you should get a long sleeping bag. There's a lot of sleep bags on the market. The most important thing is you get one rated for at least 15 degrees Fahrenheit. And then whether it's synthetic or down, down is usually gonna be a little more expensive than a synthetic bag and maybe pack up a little bit lighter, maybe be a little softer. So it doesn't matter terribly what the brand is as long as it's a good mummy style zip up sleeping bag that you can put right up around your head to keep your head in the sleeping bag at night to keep you warm on the mountain. If you go online and, and put a search in for um, down or synthetic mummy bag, 15 degrees, you'll have plenty that come right up. So those are the basic uh, sleeping bag and sleeping pad that you're gonna need for Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, again, you know, a good, sleeping bag and a good sleeping pad is going to keep you warm on the mountain, keep you comfortable when you're sleeping on the ground, and going to help with your overall experience because you'll get a good night's rest and you'll be able to enjoy your days knowing that you have a nice tent to go to with a warm, dry, comfortable sleeping bag for a good night's rest. I hope you've enjoyed this video on our sleeping bag and our sleeping pad for Mount Kilimanjaro. Learn more by visiting our website at www.trek.com or contact us directly. Thanks for watching.